Good morning and thank you for making me feel so welcome. It is a bit like coming home because I'm a Toowoomba girl and it's an honour to be part of today's celebrations. Graduates, I applaud your achievements. You've earned your cap and gown and you've earned them through gifts and choices. I'd like you to think for a moment about the difference between those things, gifts and choices. Intelligence is a gift. Kindness is a choice. Gifts come easily. After all, they are given. Choices can be hard. At least the right choices are generally hard. Perhaps your choice to begin studying, or perhaps to go part-time, or even a bigger choice for those with family responsibilities. Perhaps the choice was a hard one, even continue to continue to stay on. Yet you are here, and some of you have made some of your life choices already by choosing your career. So how will you use these gifts, intelligence, kindness, in your lives and in your careers? I'm reasonably sure that when you look back on your life's achievements, the things that will have made a difference are the choices that you'd made rather than the gifts that you were given. Our journeys through life are generally less planned than they could be, often because we make our choices at a time when we don't have the guiding principles to allow us to step back and see the whole journey in its perspective. Let me share with you a number of principles which may help you plan your journey, particularly in the workplace, however not exclusively. Number one. Have a positive attitude. We all have the power to choose our attitude and how we respond to situations. Try to remember that when faced with a tough decision or a difficult personality, that might be your boss or it might be your peer, it can be a game changer. Career counsellor Jim Bright believes one of the most overlooked employability attributes is amiability. What he means is, to be consistently and authentically open to others, being approachable at all or nearly all times. I call that a positive attitude. Or really, just be a nice person. The great thing about attitudes, particularly positive ones, is that they're contagious. Number two, if you love what you do, you'll never work a day in your life. Or, to put a slightly different slant on it, if you love what you do, you will be successful. If you love what you do, you'll be more passionate, more committed to whatever you turn your mind to. It's, a good, it's good for your own productivity, your performance, your work-life balance, the quality of your personal relationships. On a recent trip to the United States, I visited the Google campus. It's just as you might imagine, or perhaps have read about, everyone wearing jeans. Like a university campus, only much, much bigger, with free restaurant quality food, a free laundry, free shoe sewing, and you, they pay you to go there. I spent some time with a guy whose job title is Senior Product Manager, YouTube. He spends a lot of time watching YouTube every day. He had the quirkiest sense of humour, and he'd been at work since 5am. He was passionate about what he called his product and was bursting with enthusiasm to share with me the latest and greatest YouTube videos, some of which had something to do with banking, but mostly not. And then he used every opportunity around how I could use this capability in my business. I thought to myself, now there's a person who loves what he does. A little closer to home, there's me. I've worked in banking pretty much all my working life. Banking may not have the funky glamour of YouTube, but it energises me in such a way that I want to get out of bed every morning. And yes, sometimes it's earlier than 5am to go to work. Every day I meet the most interesting people, from our staff who've got a wide range of backgrounds, personalities and experiences, to the most interesting customers, who could be farmers, business people, CEOs, scientists. I have the pleasure of learning about their businesses, their goals and their aspirations, 
And in a small way, I get to help them on their journey, whatever it may be. The point is, if you love what you do, you will have the energy, the passion and the drive that will make you successful. So stepping back from those two principles, having a positive attitude and loving what you do, what do you do if neither of these apply to you? If you don't love what you do, change your attitude. And if, in that, if that's impossible, then change what you do. The average person may change careers three to five times in their working life and their job about eight times. A recent survey of Australian executives found that almost half were likely to look for another job this year. The same survey found that more than 42% left their last job because they no longer felt engaged or challenged. Unfortunately, this is not uncommon in business today. So it's wise to keep investing in your skills and work hard at maintaining a positive attitude. And if you still don't love what you do, have the courage to move on to something that you do. Life is far too short to be miserable. <laughs>